PlayStation 5 Pro news that really has Xbox by the gonads. Uh, yeah, this is definitely one of those things that, you know, I think everybody should be talking about. Microsoft is in a very, very bad place. And do they even care? Uh, you know, I think maybe maybe they want Sony to, uh, to do something. Uh, about this maybe that maybe they want sony to secretly help destroy xbox right uh, maybe that's what they really want i like i don't know but you know for me uh a, as we kind of go forward i feel like microsoft has all but given up on their hardware and i've i've given several examples as to why i believe this to be the case and and people go oh well where's your proof they said they're going to do more hardware yeah they said they're going to be doing more hardware, but as I've mentioned multiple times in the FTC stuff, they were going to l release a cylinder-style Series X, which would have which would have actually taken some innovation and things like that. It was going to have some improvements, like the Wi-Fi was going to be better and things like that. So they had that. Um, they scrapped it, and instead, what do we get? We get the same Series X that we had. They just painted it white and filled in the disk drive. Uh, and then for the Series S's, they just added more space. Also, they canceled the haptic feedback controllers that were going to come with this new console. And so now we're stuck with the same controllers that we've had for, you know, over a decade with Xbox. So they're doing the absolute bare minimum of anything uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the console space. So, yeah, uh, now we're about to see things get even worse. Um, and again, I think this is very interesting to see the way that, that kind of, um, Microsoft is going to, to, to maybe be able to respond. I don't think they're going to be able to, but Sony on the other hand has been absolutely rocking them with, um, these announcements and things like that. And, and this is, this is not looking good for them. So, uh, the PS5 Pro is going to create a huge headache for Microsoft that maybe Microsoft didn't even think about. It represents a new problem for them. Now that Xbox games are on PlayStation uh, specifically, it could create an embarrassing situation. Games that receive a PS5 Pro update will run better, better on Sony's machine. Microsoft also has no plans to release a Pro-like console of its own. Instead, adding some starry looking stars on a series x and putting an extra terabyte in there and charging 600 bucks for it it's it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard in my life i'm honestly not sure what microsoft is thinking um at this particular time but anyway microsoft hasn't enjoyed the same success as sony's playstation 5 this generation but at least it's been able to say that the series x is the most powerful console but those days are numbered as we're counting down until the PS5 Pro. Sony is set to announce the PS5 Pro during the first half of September, leaving Microsoft's flagship machine in the dust from a technical perspective. That might not seem like a huge worry. The Xbox Series X hasn't left PS5 and head-to-head -head comparisons behind, like many predicted. And Microsoft having the most powerful machine on the market has done little to change its fortunes. However, the PS5 Pro will expose a new problem entirely for Microsoft uh, of their own making. The PS5 Pro could be the best way to play previously exclusive Xbox games. That's a big issue. Microsoft's strategy then to bring its first party titles to Sony's system has initially paid off boosting the company's bank balance as games like Sea of Thieves found a new audience on PlayStation. And more games are coming, obviously. Microsoft revealed that Indiana Jones in the Great Circle is heading to PS5 in the spring of next year, shortly after its release on Xbox Series X and S uh, on December 9th, 2024. The problem is that there's now a real chance that Indiana Jones in the Great Circle will receive an update if it doesn't launch natively on the PS5 Pro uh, which will take advantage of those specs, which would suddenly make Sony's console the best place to play Microsoft's marquee title. The same could be true for the rumored Forza Horizon 5 port and every other title Microsoft brings to PS5 in the future. Just imagine if Starfield plays best on PS5 Pro. It's a rather embarrassing situation for Microsoft and a frustrating one for Xbox Series X owners. Whether you care about graphics and performance or not, it's a, not a good look for Microsoft, and it's unlikely we won't see some PS5 Pro enhanced versions of its games on Sony's system again. This is a problem of Microsoft's own making, 
because there is no competition from Microsoft. Basically, Call of Duty, which Microsoft owns, is going to be best on PlayStation. Uh, Indiana Jones, best on PlayStation. Doom, best on PlayStation. Whatever Microsoft releases and, and they release on PlayStation is going to be best on PlayStation. And here's the thing. How do we know this is going to be the case? Well, the Pro obviously is, is better than the Xbox Series X, but the base PS5 has played three of the four games that Microsoft released on, on PlayStation better than the Xbox Series X anyway. So imagine what the Pro is going to do. Whatever the case may be, it, it doesn't look like Microsoft is going to have much of a chance in terms of uh, you know being able to uh, have a console that's going to be competitive. Like there's just they're not competitive. They're 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 they are no competition. Despite releasing the Xbox One X to rival the PS4 Pro last gen, Microsoft is content to let Sony release the PlayStation 5 Pro unopposed, as Xbox head Phil Spencer has all but ruled out releasing a mid gen refresh of the Series X. In an interview at Gamescom last year, Spencer said, and I quote, "We're at the end of the beginning of the console generation for Xbox Series X and S." That new hardware should have a reason to exist. It is demonstrably different than what came before, and I think that's important. Now, Microsoft decided to release a digital-only version of the Series X and more storage options instead of a Series X Slim. It also hasn't released any game-focused accessories like PSVR 2 or the PlayStation Portal, although an Xbox handheld is rumored to be in development. Microsoft has at least committed to the next generation and assured fans of a new Xbox console in development. But if it continues to let Sony provide solutions to every problem consumers may have, like a more powerful console, why would anyone choose Xbox when a new system like the PS6 does come around? PS5 Pro pre-orders could start in September, and it's expected to cost between $600 and $700. The design of the PS5 console also leaked, and it seems like it's going to be similar to the PS5 Slim. Uh, it's been a long wait, but it should all be revealed soon. So again, um, we're kind of looking at this stuff and we're going... You know, we are living in a weird world where uh, Microsoft is trying to downplay everything, trying to get people to believe that consoles are dying, trying to get, you know, um, you know, these things to kind of to, to be believed. Right. And, and, and you see Xbox fans run with this narrative, right? Like, oh, consoles are dying. And then I sit there and I go, well, you realize the PS5 is ahead of the PS4 at the same point in time. And not only is the PS5 ahead of the PS4, but you also have um, a situation where in the few spots where the, it's not the case, you have to remember that the PS4 Pro launched in year three and the PS5 Pro will only launch in year four. So yeah, that boost that they got initially uh, clearly is, is something that uh, they're going to get this year from the Pro itself. And I think... You know that's a that's a smart move obviously you know people that are going to want the best of the best and things like that are going to get stick to the um playstation 5 pro i mean it just makes sense to do that and again microsoft hasn't given anybody reason to buy an xbox you know if the xbox games are playing best on um you know the playstation then why on earth would anybody buy an xbox Right. I know some fanboys might go, oh, well, Game Pass or whatever. But, you know, I think that that reasoning is really kind of drying up rather quick, especially when, you know, all these exclusives and things seem like they are very much going to be on uh, PlayStation. And, and again, like especially they mentioned like PS5 Pro, PS6, like seriously, I think by the time the PS6 rolls around, pretty much everything will already be on PlayStation. So, you know, there's very little reason or rhyme to actually own an Xbox at that point. And maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what Microsoft is trying to do. Maybe they want to kill their platform and their console and their and Sony is going to, you know, help them do that. You know, I, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people probably understand where I'm coming from with that. Does it mean that the uh that everything is over or that there's no chance no i mean look microsoft could do something that surprises everybody but i think that it might be a little bit too late for them to actually come out and you know say hey we reverse our course and we're going to have exclusives again you know i think that that that's something that we probably won't see 
And, you know, that's a real shame. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, How do you feel about it? Do you think it's something that is going to be a real issue going forward? Um, do you think that it's just a fanboy thing? I personally can't see how it's a fanboy thing at all. I mean, we were, we bought the world's most powerful console, and you know, Xbox's own games are going to be best on PlayStation. So, uh, anyway, rack them up, crap gamer out. <laughs>